Okay, so I think we are live. That's looking good. I think we also had a great kind of warm-up. A lot of people were hanging out uh, already during our warm-up Jitsi call. Uh, you missed nothing if you missed if you were not in the Jitsi call. This was more like to to get easily starting. But now I welcome everybody to the official hex sprints uh, um, kind of made. Um, this month. So we try to do this format almost every month, we hope so. And uh, the, the basic idea is just to have an event to get together online to, to meet up a little bit uh, on our MetaMost and gather around all the great projects that are developing in the, in the Lightning space. So and try to push those projects a little bit further to give new people the opportunity to join in, to ask questions, to get a feel for the community and really to have a good time and so that everybody can take a little bit from this weekend and gets the feeling so that we push this a little bit further. So um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So maybe if you're completely new to the Hexprint, you, maybe you were missing the last one, the uh, just the basic start is at our wiki. So wiki.fulmo.org. And this is uh, the one here I will show you and guide you through now. So. It's just wiki.fulmo.org, and there you should find all the basic information about this hex sprint. So, um, yeah, let's let's go through this. The basic timetable. So, what will happen over the weekend? So, we are already right in the middle of um, of the of the kickoff. So, uh, where I try to give you an overview of what is happening, and then in the end, you have time to to um, hang out in the in the chat channels of the projects, work on the challenges we prepared for you or the projects that are joined the Hexprint I have prepared for you and, and push those further. Then in the end, we have a wrap up on Sunday uh, at uh, 8 p.m. Berlin time. So always check a little bit what's your local time because I know a lot of people joining from other countries and worldwide. So that's great to see. Um, um, all, all times here are Berlin time, but you should be able to convert this very easily to your local time. So on Sunday at 8 p.m., there will be kind of the wrap up where, we where I try to, to figure out what was happening in the single uh, projects, what the challenge, what the outcomes of the challenges were, and maybe also a little bit of a heads up for the, for the people, for the mentors of the, of the challenges. I will try around 7, maybe already at 6 p.m., I will try to uh, go around all challenges and all projects that are working to get a feel what the outcomes were. And would, it would be awesome if then everybody can document a little bit the outcomes. Or it, it just okay in, in just short kind of words, just break it down to some headlines. So what the outcomes uh, war, were on your challenges, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, but um, we are online, this is an online event. So our basic tools here are the wiki, of course, where you find the basic information and um, the the first place then to get you started is our Fulmo MetaMost. It's kind of an open source Slack um, where you can just sign up and then you will find uh, channels uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the site for every, every project. And you just join in there and say hello and what you may be interested, maybe what your skill sets is, are and, and what, you're, what you may be trying to looking for to do on the weekend uh, or where you, where, you can, where you can see yourself maybe helping out or just ask questions about the projects. So this can all happen on the MetaMost. It's our most basic communication tool. So if you want to join the Hexprint, really sign up there. And even now, if you if you watch this video a little bit late, you're not. It's no problem. Just just join in. It's a it's a relaxed uh, format over the weekend. It's a jump in, jump out thing. So uh, feel free to to join anytime during the weekend. So, and. So the other tool we have for you available is our Jitsi server. It's like an open source version of Zoom, you can say. So it's for video conferencing. So everybody can go to this uh, to the to the full Jitsi server and even open a room for yourself. So if you want to present a self-organized session, uh, which we see later, what's what we have on the schedule. Or you want to, for your project, you maybe you chat is not every time the best thing. Sometimes you just need to talk a little bit in, in a person kind of way. So there, just open up a Jitsi room, um, post the Jitsi link into your into your uh, into into your, your project chat, and uh, let's people let people join there and maybe get communication a little bit kind of more in a personal way. So this is the tools we we provide for you. 
the most important thing are the challenges. So, and I think we will jump right into here and, and take a look. And I will try to now give you an overview of, of what projects here are part of the hex sprint this month and what challenges are up here for you to grab and to join. And yeah, one of the, one of the big projects uh, I'm personally involved in is the Raspberry Blitz. And the Raspberry Blitz is a full node, uh, Lightning and Bitcoin full node on a Raspberry Pi that you, where you can very easily learn how to set up a, a Lightning node, run a Lightning node, and, and especially manage a Lightning node to become a part of, of the Lightning infrastructure. And um, there's also a lot of uh, apps on the Raspberry Blitz uh, that are even part of this 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 uh, this hex sprint. So, for example, when we look like the Allen bits, where we will we'll look to add next, it's part of the Raspberry Blitz, so you can easy really try it out and then start and use the Raspberry Blitz for your uh, development and, and and hacking out over the weekend. So, um, there's a channel there. So, if you're a, a fresh new starter, but you have some hardware in a Raspberry Pi lying around and a big big hard drive, you're also free to join the channel uh, very ha happy to set you up with the recipe blitz help you out on building it and then get giving you a start here um, there's also the version 1.5 now released for the rest blitz. so for everybody that has a risk blitz already running um, also feel free over the weekend i'll help you on the on the updating or and we even have a self-organized session about it i will talk to you later but if you already set up with the recipe blitz there are here if you click on the project you find the Okay, hope everybody's good. Um, you will find a lot of um, issues here tagged on, on the uh, Raspberry Blitz GitHub that are tagged with Hackathon. Um, and those are the issues that we think from, from the, the Raspberry Blitz project are maybe a good, good fit for you to join in and to, to get in there and the challenges that you really can grab and where you can really can program. Uh, on so let's take a look very quickly so especially for example with the 1.5 version there is no join market uh, part as a bonus app an extra app service you can install on Raspberry Blitz and there's one challenge there if you like to now make this a little bit more ease of use I think there is uh, open arms was, was thinking about doing some um, some menu here some giving it some some little bit more menu structure a little bit like this so there's already code out there so uh, connect with open arms on that uh, issue over here and if you're interested in, in join market in general I think this is also a good good place to hang out and, and to connect on um, there are a little bit smaller stuff stuff where you can just test stuff out because you don't need to program all the time it's also great if you just test stuff or help give feedback on features this is true for the recipe blitz but this is also true for the other projects coming up so um, for example there is some little small stuff if you're a little bit into bash scripting and you know already how to handle a unix system so um, adding for example a little bit like an sd card speed test you can put before or you try out the butter fs that is on on the rest people it's available but still an experimental feature give feedback on that um, test if there if the hard drive is connected to the right USB port sometimes little things like this help very much people set up uh, such a node in the future and to prevent kind of common errors you just do when you when you're not looking correctly so all all of this there's also because the Raspberry Blitz is working on LND the lightning implementation uh, L and D. There is a watchtower uh, already, a service of watchtower possibilities already in there. It would be great to make this a little bit more nicer to set up on the Raspberry Blitz to join other people to uh, to, to set up a uh, watchtower, um, or even if you if you have a mining history and you have even old mining hardware lying around, it would be interesting just to know if the Raspberry Blitz, because there's a full node there, can maybe uh, an easy setup to connect the miner to and to just uh, decentralize mining a little bit more, even if it's not profitable, but for the decentralization interesting stuff that you can do there if you're a dojo fan um sure we all we have people asking for this so this is your weekend just try it out if you can see if you can set it up on the recipe blitz uh, or just um, work a little bit on replacing uh, public ip discovery i think this is something where i will look into uh to and try to get this prepared for the next version so for example this is these are the challenges waiting for you on the recipe blitz side
But if, if you have an, any other idea in the Raspberry Blitz area, just join the um, just join the the channel, the Raspberry Blitz channel, and uh, on the MetaMost on our MetaMost, and there we can can help you out in, in every direction you're interested. And this is really the, the way how you get started with with a project and with a challenge here on the Hexprint. You find here in the end always the link to the chat room and. Just, just there. Ask your question. Join in. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. You very. You can join multiple challenges or multiple chat rooms. Don't feel restricted here. It's really something for you just to to find your place and feel comfortable. Another project uh, that is part of the Hexprint is the Ellen Bits again. So this is a project done by Ben. Um, and Ellen Bits is a little bit the idea of having um, a web platform or a manager that can manage funds on, for example, on the Raspberry Blitz. So you can make multiple accounts, smaller accounts on the, on the Raspberry Blitz or on the L&D, and then kind of do um, let people have an instant web wallet about it and, and have a little bit custodial accounts. You can connect other plugins to it. You can, it's uh, based on uh, Django framework. So if you're into the Python, um, uh, no, no, it's not the jungle. Sorry, uh, <laughs> it's a flask. Uh, this one is the it's a Python flask. Um, if if you're in that area, um, that's maybe interesting for you. It's because Ben is looking there to for people to develop little plugins on. Uh, you can extend the Ellen Bits uh, accounting system uh, and and the, the the ecosphere that is there. And it's not just working with the recipe Blitz in the end. It, it, you can use every other kind of funding source, uh, even a Sea Lightning or something, or even if you want to extend it to other stuff so it's an interesting project to take a look um, and there's always the um, the channels uh, here well, let me take a quick look at the at the Alan bits uh, github just to give you maybe a little bit like a quick look edit yeah as you can see maybe this gives you a better picture this is a, a little bit like looking at the website <clears throat> where you can see the sub accounts uh, and then have little plugins on here and it even works mobile so it's it's a nice way uh, to uh, to make small extensions and and experiment with ln url and, and stuff and there's even a bounty out there so ben is, is saying oh if you if you deliver a great um plugin here there's even a bounty for you to to grab if you if this is a little bit incentivizing your work over the weekend so uh, as, here's a video to watch if you want to see ellen bits a little bit more in action uh, joy, uh, just watch the video here and then join the chat room and ask a little bit more questions then there's another project from ben it's the, the quickening there um, and this is the room 77 point of sale uh, we use so just to give you an idea it's a small device um, looks a little bit like a calculator when you look first look at it um, or or you can even build it completely yourself uh, with a with the ESP32 so if you're a little bit more on the Arduino tinkering side a little bit more, more with hardware um, tinkering and then want to build something that you can can connect for example to a recipe blitz or to an Allen bits and then have it at a at a, at a location at a uh, as a point of sale for example um, as we use it as a, at room 77 the bar in Berlin uh, where we normally meet up the, the Berlin Bitcoiners. Um, this is something in action, and there's a, uh, there's some issues over here. Still marked with room 77. Those are collected from experience at the room, still waiting for for, for improvement. And um, there's also a small um, bounty involved. We maybe take a look later on. Um, then there is the 2 DIP tunnel service. This is, was kind of started last hex sprint. So the idea is to find or to build a service that makes it easy for the nodes we run on, on, in, in privacy uh, networks like Tor. So, for example, if I run a recipe blitz or some other kind of, of node in, um, behind Tor, um, that's a good privacy setup. But sometimes then you have problems connecting other hardware too. Um, so you maybe need to, uh, public IP to, to communicate to, and to, there needs to be maybe a bridge between IP and Tor, and to do it in a privacy-aware way. We, we, get, we got started and came up with an idea how you can create a tunnel service there. So this was what MZ was uh, and, and other people were looking into last Hexprint, so found a working solution there that, uh, that's maybe worth to, to uh, investigate further. And then Frankie was, um, after the ne next uh, last Hexprint, Frankie was looking more into, oh, maybe we can really build this 
make this a little bit more structured and organized so that not everybody has to set up such a tunnel service for themselves so that maybe people can pool together um, servers and, and offer this to, to nodes like the recipe blitz or, or even to the bitbox base maybe in the future that, that's looking into a, a similar direction for, for their users. So maybe check this out. This is um, kind of, uh, um, this is a project then in, in Django, so Python a Django framework. Um, if, you, if you're familiar with that, um, and also, um, but but also if you're more like coming from the Unix server management side and know how easily to spin up services, shut down services there, and, and like to build the plugin side that you install on the service to join a kind of uh, tunneling pool uh, like that and connect to the to the um, IP service, uh, the IP tutorial service that Frankie is, is working on. So this is. Uh, maybe an interesting part for you. So every Tor person, every, every Unix person, or every Django and Python person, I think is quite nice fitting here. So again, here's the link to the, to the chat room, join in there, and this should be a good starting point for you. The next one, is the Wiki Lightning Spam Protection. It was a challenge we had already on on the last hex sprint. I think nobody really joined it that time, but it's still a nice thing. We, we from the Fulmo side, we are kind of organizing the hex sprint, still would like just for this for this wiki over here. So um, so because last last hex sprint, some, some people started to, yeah, like spam the wiki, nice. Wow, why not? So, and um, yeah, but it was a little bit pain in the ass and, and to have spam protection in some way. Now we have some password protection on the wiki. That's not, not the perfect solution. So we are happy to share the password. If you want to want to edit your, your pages here, ask me, Rotso or Jeff uh, on the MetaMost for the editing password, but this is not the optimal solution. What, but there is already a project out there that was trying to build a, build a spam protection with light so if you edit a page and you maybe edit a lot on the page, you have to pay more. So now at least if you deface the wiki, it costs you some lightning sets and maybe then it's worse for us to, to, to reverse it and put the effort in because now we at least get compensated. So to have a little bit like this, this a spam protection and turning this prototype that was already out there, improving it and turning it into into a media wiki extension that would be awesome so if anybody has some experience with, me, with uh, media wiki and likes to check out and, and maybe work on this one um, there's also bounty attached to this one uh, that would be awesome and very really would very much love this to see so that's also a nice challenge for you to jump in then there is the send many app uh, the send many app is uh, done by Fusion 44, and the uh, it's a it's a wallet uh, for your mobile Android that you can connect with, for example, a Raspberry Blitz or some other LND node, and then remote control that LND node. That's that something you find also other wallets are doing it, uh, but this one also has the the very interesting feature uh, that you can now use the, um, the the chatting over the Lightning Network. It's an experimental feature. It's like using the key send um, um, feature that uh, LND, for example, is offering you on the Raspberry Blitz, and then you can um, on the last hex sprint we were able to set it up with some Raspberry Blitz, and we're already able to 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 chat. Uh, between each other um, over our recipe blitz and the send many app then and just uh, there's still stuff to improve on so if you look here in the into the link you will find on the github again um, the the uh, issues marked with with hexprint and those are this from from fusion 44 uh, what, what what's still in like to improve and and to go deeper in there so this is something I think very also interesting to you I as far as I remember, I think it's a, it's it's built in Java. Uh, not exactly sure, but I think it's because it's an Android app. I think it's Java. But find out more details here in the uh, in the in the chat room about the uh, key send ma send many chat room. So, and if you're interested in key send in general or in chatting over um, over over Lightning, um, then uh, this is definitely a chat room for you to check out. Then there is uh, Zapread. Zapread, as far as I, I was, was, was was quick checking it out. It's a little bit um, light, like a little bit like a Reddit kind of posting system. We post news and you can upvote and downvote, but for the voting you use Lightning Satoshi's. So this is an interesting thing. So especially if you're in the .NET uh, kind of programming camp, and that's a little bit your your uh, tools to work with. Uh, so uh, C Sharp is here. 
Um, this is a C Sharp build project, so check it out. Uh, so um, also a chat room running, and you can see the list of challenges also over here on on the on the GitHub. So some authentication or even offline Lightning payments. So there's interesting stuff for you to check out if you're in the area of C Sharp, um, a little bit web programming and uh, and Lightning. So, and we have the uh, Lightning ATM. This already uh, work people were working on on the last hack sprint. So the Lightning ATM is more the idea of building a do-it-yourself, like from scratch. You take, I think that there's a Raspberry Pi in there. There is, uh, and then there is uh, um, a coin where you put coins in, and you just connect it and build it into a beautiful case. Uh, I have to check um, if we, if you can see the pictures here on on the GitHub. The um, oh this, this is already the right this is already the issues. Let me quick check if you can see the pictures on the on the GitHub. I hope they were there. Let's see. Yeah, right, right. Here you can see it. It's a self-built, uh, self-built layout. But of course, you, if you don't have the case around and you maybe just have some hardware parts uh, similar to it, um, maybe you, um, you can find a way to, to join this project. It's it's a very nice setup. The idea is you really to just have coin at the moment. to just have coins, so you just put put little coins in there. You do it yourself. Put it at a place uh, where you know you have a trusted community, uh, and uh, and offer them the possibility to exchange their coins for satoshis. So very, very nice setup. Um, so and when we look at the issues, you can see here what they're working on. There's still some work on additional screens, working with e-ink or LCD. Um, there's other implementations, lighting implementations and wallets that maybe want to want to connect it to to make it more flexible. Um, and, and the smarter way, if you have a coin coin um, hardware piece where you can may have can de detect the coins to you can improve on that. So um, there's there's definitely stuff to do. Check out the uh, the channel there to ask exactly how you maybe can even join if you don't have the hardware at home. I think there are possibilities to, to work on stuff there. Um, then there's a, a Bitcoin bounty hunt. Uh, so this is a, this is a, a multiplayer online game where you where you uh, kind of uh, fight fight for Satoshis um, in a computer game. So it's really still waiting a bit for the challenges. I hope they come a late entry coming up. So I have to check back with the mentor up there. Um, but uh, join the channel already if you're into if you're interested in that. I think maybe most possibly last hack sprint we had a we had a test uh, gaming there. So if you just say okay, why not just test this this gaming out? Join the channel and you will I think you will get the update uh, when this test runs are happening. And maybe even you can find other challenges there to work on. Um, then there's the Wii Note. The Wii Note is a uh, um, project that aims to to um, to put a lightning node on an old or to utilize an old Android phone and to run uh, um, a lightning node on that. So because sure, Raspberry Blitz is great, everybody loves it, but uh, more people have lying old uh, around old Android phones, especially if we then look into maybe developing countries where then you have then old hardware laying around. Um, uh, this is more very interested is more accessible for a lot of people to maybe start working on and maybe you some people out there have old android phones and say why not so this at least here have the hardware available um join stefan over here um you can find on the hex sprint already some github issues you can then maybe work on so th there is the idea of putting more services on there i think the basic stuff is already working haven't tried it on myself have to say but i think the basic stuff is working so stefan is very uh, happy to um happy to help you out on that and, and get you get uh, help you on the setup and if you then can find any way to participate and improve it very very much welcome then there is um a big effort, an ongoing effort, uh, started uh, mostly on the last hack sprint, at least kind of uh, pushing it forward there uh, the f publicly the first the big time I saw it, is the idea of building another implementation of a Lightning Node completely in Rust. 
Uh, as far as I know, it, it builds on on Rust uh, on Rust Lightning uh, implement, uh, libraries. So and and just try to 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 put everything else in there. Try to build up a little bit more modular uh, approach. As far as I, I understood it, I'm not a Rust person. So, but if you're into into Rust programming, that's definitely something to to look out for. And especially because there's a lot of implementation on a basic leveling uh, level is happening. If you want to understand the uh, the Lightning protocol a little bit more into detail what's best then to, to just check out uh, and, and join people that are trying now to implement uh, parts of it. For example, here the Bolt 1, so really very, a, very, one, a very basic starting point for implementing Lightning Protocol. Here you, you, you can see or join at least, get a, get a, get a glimpse there, maybe even ask your questions. Um, so I think you will feel, feel find people there can uh, this, which you can discuss with and and find so if you're interested in all the basic lightning implementation things and even if you have a favor for rust definitely something to check out there and also again the chat room is over there and then of course the github uh, you find more details then we have rtl uh, rtl is um uh, a, a very very liked web front end that makes it easier for you to manage uh, your lightning node so for example it's also part of the recipe blitz so normally the recipe blitz is ssh menus that's or command line that's not for everybody the rtl is uh, really running in your web browser uh, and gives you a nice clean um, web interface then to um, to manage your nodes so to to fund the node to create channels to manage ten channels uh, channels and to um, even now there's a loop integration that's something that's uh, so new uh, in, the, in the latest version that's also part of the new Raspberry Blitz release where you can then manage your channels and even get funds clear up funds and then do uh, swaps there so um, this is this is something to definitely check out if you're a little bit more into the web developing uh, space so this is um, mostly built on Node.js and AngularJS. So this is something, if you're familiar with that one, uh, with, with those kind of um, um, languages, or if, at least if you're web development in general, I think this is something worth checking it out and see what, what's still here on uh, to grab on to, and to, to work on, on challenges. Um, and then we have the the, uh, the C Lightning um, challenges. So Christian Decker is available uh, in that group. So you have really somebody from the core development of C Lightning there to uh, to help you out and to to show you directions and discuss uh, those uh, those challenges. There's a lot of small stuff here, so you can grab. It was not small stuff. I think <laughs> it's a lot of challenge single challenges. Uh, you you can all find and discuss in the C Lightning plugins room uh, chat room. Just just ask your questions if you have, uh, if you have, uh, yeah, don't, no, not exactly sure how to get started. Um, there's, as far as I can see, there is um, a hardware integration so that you can um, make it easier for people to, to use their hardware wallet uh, in, in combination with C Lightning. Um, I think all those challenges mostly are based on that you build a plugin on, on C Lightning. And as far as I know, the C Lightning plugins doesn't have to be written in C. So even if you come from another programming language, um, you maybe have possibilities to, to join those challenges. As Ask a little bit more detail in the chat room how you connect it and how the plugin API, how you can use the plugin API of C Lightning. So, so if you're also into hardware wallets, want to make this easier, there's there's a trampoline proof of concept um, implementation that's uh, interesting uh, here to to check out, and even to um, to the networked RPC interface to, to, to work on authentication, to use different authentication uh, um, um, methods here to, to join this. This is definitely something uh, to, to, to check out. There's the, I think even the backup plugin that st was started on the last hack sprint uh, is here still to improve. So I think they were able now to, to, to store to a separate file. So to put this a little bit more uh, to open it up and improve it there, maybe put some Dropbox storage uh, when you encrypt it there. So check it out. So there's definitely some more stuff to improve on the Sea Lightning challenges. Um, then we have, I think this one is the, the last the last challenge here in the list. Uh, this is the JIT routing. This is, uh, I think, 
Rene Pickard here is uh, is, is like to helping you out and uh, welcome you to uh, to join the proof of concept here because they did some technical an analysis of the, the routing in the Lightning Network or the Lightning Network in general. And we're thinking about because at the moment we have source routing. So um, you're, you're, you, if you want to make a payment, you have a graph of the of the of the network at your client side, and then you pick a pass and you just to try it out. And normally, uh, not the first try is not always successful. So you try out a lot of different routes. And I think the, the just-in-time routing tries to make a proof of concept here that the routing nodes, even if they don't have the liquidity on the pass because the, the client was chosen because the client was not able to see the liquidity and now somebody comes and wants to route through you, maybe there is an idea to, to, to just make this happen and, and, and optimize your, your liquidities uh, and, um, on your liquidity on your, on your node so that you maybe can make this request possible. So it's um, it's interesting improvement there. I think you need some basic understanding already about how it's working now to 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 get here uh, into the into the groove but it's definitely very very interesting because it works also very close to uh, to, to the lightning protocol specifications so if, for example here some idea to extend the bolt 7 a bit so um to to put a little bit more uh, information between the nodes so that they can um, quickly re rebalance so definitely something to check out if you're a little bit more into, st into the standardization interest and protocol interest and then like to optimize here some experimental features over here and again the chat room should be available over here correctly there just join there ask your questions even if you're just curious and want to understand it more um, definitely I think everybody's uh, very very interested to help you out Okay, and of, of course, this, 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 this list, the channel list, is not completely off the limit. So if you have any other idea you'd like to add here as a challenge, feel free to contact me, uh, Rutzol or Jeff, and we maybe set up uh, an extra entry here and try to match you up with other people. So definitely still, still time to, to get going. You have today, you have tomorrow. So you jump in, jump out, no problem. Okay, so these are the challenges. So I think we already covered the kind of basics here for uh, for the hex sprint, um, but of course we have a little bit more uh, for you. A little bit uh, just, uh, to incentivize maybe some working on some challenges are the bounties. Um, again, everybody's free to set up a bounty. So even if you're just watching this here and or you see a challenge that you think, wow, I really want to see this happening, feel free to to offer a bounty there and say, oh, uh, we, if somebody makes this and this happening and can present it to me until this deadline or whatever. Like, I'm I'm happy to kind of sponsor a trip to, 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 to a conference once we have conferences, we arrive conferences again, or help you on hardware, or, or uh, even even incentivize a little bit with uh, a little bit Bitcoin there. This is something where you can freely add, to, again, to add it, to put it here on the list. Again, contact me or Jeff, and we can, can add your bounty here to the list. Um, what we have on the bounty so far, um, it's the Schnapps bounty, it's still open. Um, Again, this is the idea. If if you if you improve something like the room seventy seven point of sale the, on the quickening, if you if you improve something there, um, and you you get it done even after the hex sprint, feel free to post us your progress. Um, and I'm very happy to sponsor a, a schnapps to you at the room seventy seven next time again when we're when we're uh, able to meet there again. And I will I will drink a schnapps with you on the house. So. Um, this is still open, and I think there were people close to cli claiming it or even claimed it. Uh, please contact me so they don't lose track here um, who to drink with and do it now before we start to drink. Um, and of course, if you're not an alcoholic thing, uh, alcohol is not their thing, again, we find another drink for you to, to, get, to get it on the house. Um, then there is the Alan Bits bounty. Uh, this is what Ben is having for you. So if you're interested in developing an Alan Bits uh, extension and get it into the code there, make a pull request. So if you're, if you're getting close to finish, there's even quite nice bounty there, 0 0.03 Bitcoin. So hey, come on, that's not. I'm not exactly sure if this is still Ben. If if if, if you let us know if if really three times this is still up or if there's some modification there. Let us know, but at least talk to Ben there. There are some bounties to grab. 
Then there's the spam bounty. So this is for the wiki plugin. We really would like to see this this wiki plugin uh, f if to use it here for the hack for the future hack sprints, so that people have to pay satoshis to edit uh, pages. And there's quite a nice satoshi bounty there also to grab if you if you can present a working prototype of a media wiki plugin. And then there is the uh, Toto IP service bounty. They're still up, so it was it was set up last time. So um, even if you say, "Hey man, I'm qualifying for this bounty from the last time," just contact us. We will will try to get you in contact. And if you um, <coughs> if you if you see here you qualifying for this bounty and get you into more into programming into the Toto IP, definitely cool. So. So far for the bounties, but challenges and bounties is not all we have. So um, again, the hex sprint, hex sprint should be a meeting point um, for you all to to um, to connect and exchange. So there is the possibility to do self-organized sessions. So this is up to you. This is um, even to if you come up with ideas, we are happy to add more here. Again, call me, Rootsol or Jeff. Um, to to edit uh, to put it there or to give you the editing password for the wiki. So you can put it there. So let's see what we have so far on the self-organized sessions for you. So today at 3, we will have the Recipe Blitz uh, 1.5 final release we meet up. So today, the, the new release for the Recipe Blitz was going live. Um, and yeah, very happy to very happy to show you there a little bit what are the feature setups so far on the Recipe Blitz, what's new, and um, maybe what uh, and to discuss with you what maybe still problems you have or what really features you're, you have a pressing pain to see in the future, what or how, even how you can um, contribute there if you're interested. So that's happening at three. Then there is um, at today at four. Uh, it's all Berlin time again. Check with your local time. Um, um, quantitative uh, analysis of uh, Lightning Network privacy. I think this is the paper that's close with the um, with the just in time routing uh, routing. I think uh, so. This is Sergey, and I think it was done together with uh, the paper was was done together with Rene. So um, to get if you want to understand a little bit more why they were thinking about this this just in time routing or improving there or how we can we what, what can we do to either keep the privacy on the one side or preserve the privacy as most as possible and on the other side improve uh, routing success i think this is uh, a good good talk to you to check out then there is the introduction to Thunderhub and uh, the node manager so I, I personally haven't checked that out so um this also i will definitely join to see um what what you can do there because it's always nice uh, if you have a node running it's always to really manage it well is, is, a, is a hard task if you really take it seriously, and especially if you if you if you if you're in that for for to make some even to gain some profits. So managing your node is always um, always a big task, and if there if you have tools to help you on that, uh, if this node manager can can do something there for you, so go ahead there. Um, and then this, those are the self-organized sessions for today. And then tomorrow we have a, a session at three. Um, that's more like a ask me anything. It's a technical roundtable by uh, from the people here from Lightning Labs that's uh, do, that are doing the um, L and D um, uh, node implementation, or even have tools now for you to to swap with uh, with the loop services, or now new with the Faraday uh, service that's helping you to um, to manage your node better, or the LSAT authentication uh, to get rid or to finally solve the, the 40, uh, 402 uh, payment required um, on the web. So um, there's a lot of technology that's provided by Lightning Labs and adding to the eco ecosystem. If you have any questions about those tools or for on this on this on this latest LED release or for the multi-pass payments, how is this working exactly? For example, this is your this is your roundtable to jump in and ask your questions. So this is happening tomorrow at three all Berlin time check your local time okay I think so far I hope I gave you a good 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 overview of what's what's up here for you for the weekend um, yeah so um, if you want to check out a little bit what was happening on the last hex print there's still the archives there just in case if you want to continue on a project or something or, or even if you're editing the wiki and sometimes it's good to, to just copy stuff over if, you, if it's still valid from last time um, there's definitely still there for you. 
Otherwise, so I would say have a great weekend, um, hack out and use the MetaMost to exchange and even to give us feedback from a little bit from the organization. If you're missing something, if you still have questions, um, very, very happy here to help you out over the weekend. The idea is of having a good time, pushing this all for a little bit forward to, to make the future happen. We all want to see. So, so far, see you in the MetaMost and see you later.